Hi there and welcome to a new episode of Your Time Q&A. As we try to do this every Wednesday, I got a question from a new subscriber from Japan and he will excuse me for not being able to read his name. Anyway, he asks, what's the playing pitch for this performance? Do you mind to tell me that? I think it's on the handle Sarabanda, but it doesn't matter. We had some conversation on that and actually it's very interesting because I think that many music lovers today, certainly those who listen to early music performances and orchestras, may believe that 4.15, which is the actual international standard for historical orchestras, uh, is reflecting in historical use and it actually isn't. And it's very much understandable that we today have come to an international standard, but back in the day, almost every place had its own pitch, its own standard, its own tone height, if I may literally translate from Dutch. So, for instance, one of the most... 415 was one of the most important ones, a uh, Kammerton uh, in Bach's time, but at the same time you had, for instance, 465, it was choir tone, and many organs actually in Bach's area were tuned in that, in that choir tone. Actually, you had on those organs often one stop, a geduct, so a stopped flute, which was a kammergeduct, in case there would be an instrument that would be tuned on 415, would be able to play with the organist, but most organs were tuned in 465. But even then, going further, back uh, uh, pitches even were higher, uh, above 500 hertz and lower. So the Paris pitch was 392 in the 18th century, and also there, there you had much differentiations. In England, I believe 422 was once uh, um, noted, and I believe also for Vienna this was a kind of normal pitch, 425, 422, but also there you had many differences. And the clavichord is a solo instrument, and I say that because it's important, pitch becomes important when you play together with other instruments, obviously. And all orchestras in the 18th century were merely private orchestras, so connected to a court, so to say. And actually there was one pitch and all instruments were built for that orchestra, so it was no problem. For clavichord, again, this is no problem because a clavichord is a solo instrument, basically. If, it, as a clavichord player, you play together with another instrument, it would be a human voice or a traverse flute or maybe a violin, but that's really not easy, although it is recorded um, in several sources that that is a possibility. Violin is, of course, a, quite a loud instrument. So in building today's clavichord, it's not uh, necessary to adapt the pitch of the instrument to what uh, is more commonly accepted as being a standard pitch for early music, 415. So that means that the clavichord can um, keep its own sizes sizes, and the scaling of the strings remain the same, which is very important because it influences sound. And if this is maybe not that much for stringed instruments like violins and the family of stringed instruments, it is however of, of influence of um, wind instruments. So in order to change pitches for wind instruments, the instruments have to become longer in case the pitch must be become lower so if the original was meant for a higher pitch or uh, has to become shorter if the original instrument that was that is to be copied was originally meant for a lower pitch so that influenced this sound quite a lot and it is a big compromise for modern orchestras to adapt to this kind of a worldly accepted pitch of 415. But there's no escape to that, because otherwise we would have, or an instrument or a player must have several instruments of the same type, and it's actually, of course, very hard to do that, and it would cost a lot of money, actually, also. So standard pitch 1859, I believe, in France was adapted to 435 as a compromise between 450 or 455, which was very common in France in the 19th century. Many harmoniums were tuned in that pitch. Or 425, which was another pitch, which was actually 
by the audience felt as too low and 455 was felt as too high by many singers so 435 was a compromise later on in the 20th century i think now around 1950 1955 440 was adapted so that's that's the modern history of pitches but in the end 80th century again there were a lot a lot a lot of different pitches and the 415 of today's orchestra's pitch is of early music is a kind of compromise so again, I hope that answers your question and don't hesitate to ask questions. Just leave them in the comment boxes below. I read them and I will be very happy if I can address them and be of any use to you. Thanks for watching. Thanks for sharing and subscribing as always. And we see each other next week again. Bye.